Welcome to Pork Chops and Applesauce. I'm Christopher Knight. Look at all the different claims on a carton of eggs. Now to clear up the confusion caused by our clever marketing spin doctor, the USDA has stipulated that a no hormone statement may appear on the label of shelled eggs, but the FDA requires that it be accompanied with the qualifying statement, hormones are not used in the production of shelled eggs. So farmers don't add hormones to eggs, any eggs. While we're on the subject of hormones, let's cover steroids. Now, there has never been any direct mention of steroids on egg cartons, but there is this abundance of steroids in chicken chatter on the internet. So much so, most of my friends assume that chickens are given steroids. That's a myth. Steroids are a hormone. Everything stated about hormones goes for steroids as well. Now, what about antibiotic-free? Another fashionable food that's all the rage. Worth the extra money? No. It's the bottled water of eggs. No cleaner or healthier than less expensive alternatives. It's an alternative line of egg product designed to soothe the concerns of an unsure shopper, giving the added assurance that the chicken that laid their egg never ever once in its life touched an antibiotic. And there's a price premium for that assurance. The reality is all eggs sold for human consumption in the United States are antibiotic free. If the hen laying an egg were being treated by antibiotics, the eggs laid while under treatment would not be sold for consumption, per FDA regulations. After hens are treated with antibiotics, they are allowed time for the antibiotic to leave their system before their eggs are again sold for consumption. What about omega-3 enriched eggs? Their designer eggs being marketed to the health conscious consumer. Well, the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids have been known for a number of years now, so it isn't surprising omega-3 eggs would have a market. Depending on the egg producer, you'd need to eat six to more than a dozen eggs in order to meet the suggested minimum daily requirement of omega-3. Better and far less expensive to eat a handful of walnuts or better yet, eat some salmon with those eggs. After gathering all the facts, I'm recognizing many of the changes foisted on the egg industry via consumer activism have not led to the intended outcome. I'm sticking with conventionally farmed, large, grade A, white eggs. We'll see you next week on Pork Chops and Applesauce.